Welcome, my beautiful souls. Um, first, I want to thank you for paying attention to your intuition and clicking on the video. I feel like that is step one because uh, we are doing a spiritual reading, which means we're reading through our spirit guides. Um, and I feel like it starts with our intuition. So first test passed. <laughs> um, I This type of reading is really open to all signs. I feel like this is the type of reading because truly I connect to my guides that it's just meant for those. You know, it'll find you. You'll find it. Um, I do these readings and then I release them. That's how I feel. I release it to the universe. Uh, so if you felt called here, probably a reason. So let's go ahead and get into the reading. Um, I brought out quite a few different decks. I wasn't going to make it that long of a reading, but something told me to bring them out. So we'll see. We have the Romance Angels, and that will be if love comes into the situation, which... When doesn't we'll do the major arcanas for bullet points um been using them for the month of december and you know i just i love the value they bring mother mary for her beautiful words of wisdom the gilded row to clarify to truly go deeper and then the main spread the psychic tarot okay Let's go ahead and start with Mother Mary, though. So I'm going to go ahead and bring my lid down. I do have this blue light on here, which I don't think I'm going to keep. Um, I don't know. It feels too neon. And I'm not a neon lover. I was back in the day. All right, just calm your mind. <sighs> Take a few couple deep breaths and exhale. Right. Mm. Very few. Well, hello. Hello, Miracle. I trust in God to know the perfect solution to this situation. So something's going to be answered. Um, something's going to happen that's going to feel like a miracle. It's good news. Because I feel it. Like, Mm. Like, wow. I feel like it's something that's just going to kind of blow your socks off. Like, wow. I can feel it. Miracle. Quiet. I go into peaceful silence and I listen. You're listening to your higher self. Your inner wisdom. Your spiritual team your ancestors, you know, there's a lot of wisdom that you can call to or call from and giving and receiving, giving and receiving. I balance being both, excuse me, let me start over. I balance being generous and receptive. Because both are equally important. It's like the Six of Pentacles. It's a fine art of give and take. You can certainly feel unbalanced if it's I'm giving more than I'm receiving, or I'm receiving more than I'm giving. It could be an unbalance. Um, but I feel like that's something you would know, you'd feel inside. Maybe even 
choose for whatever reason. Or you may want to just have that realization, like, uh, okay, wait a minute. How long am I going to keep giving and giving? And it's not doing any good. What do I do about this situation? Go into a quiet mind. Know that what you're going through and the way it feels, all of it, because I'm being, I can feel it like it's also being felt. And it feels like the perfect solution. And it kind of does feel like in the nick of time. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I, us, we had to have that realization first, right? We had to be honest with ourselves. And then once that happens, boom. <laughs> I mean, let's keep going. All right, we're going to add in the major arcanas. Um, everything's pre-shuffled before you get here. That's why I don't spend a lot of time shuffling. I mean, yeah. You know what I mean. All right. Hmm. Hello, new beginning. Interesting. Miracle. Boom. And now you're having this new beginning. Now you're about to take a leap of faith. You know, I'll tell you the one thing the fool doesn't do. And that is carry the energy of the past with them. This is about someone who feels free. And maybe it's because I freed myself, you know, some of you certainly you could have been in a situation where, you know, you were giving and giving and giving. And maybe it had to be you to take like human action. Right. But I feel like once you do. Boom. <laughs> like the way is shown. It's a new beginning. You know, it's funny how we will spend so much time in energy that we know it's not really taking us anywhere. It's not doing anybody any good. So, to me, the fool is off to new adventures. Well, hello, Will. Destiny. I often recognize in this image how this person has a blindfold on and she's getting ready to spin this wheel. And I feel like that represents a blind faith. And it always reminds me of Bob Seger um, when I say that, who is like one of my favorite artists. You know, Fool doesn't really care, I feel. The fool's like, I'm ready to go for adventure, the adventure, wherever I may go. Especially if I feel that it is just part of my destiny. You know, and lately I've been reminding people that when you see the wheel and you're reading, that's great. That's your destiny. That's predestined in a way. Uh, or you've created this destiny. Um, but it does mean everything that's happened, right? So whatever the fool needed to overcome, um, you know, make true decisions about and then allow oneself to have this new beginning, you know, that feels like a must.
It doesn't have to be in all areas of your life. I feel like energy itself is lifting. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's planetary or just the way it was meant to be. Like more spiritual awareness, more being truthful with myself. And as this is all happening, like we're becoming lighter. Letting go. You know, it's funny, like after the election, I just... Like, I was glued to, I'm not even going to save a channel because I don't want to get into it. Um, but I was glued to it and I haven't watched the news, which I normally don't watch anyway. But, like, I haven't turned it on once because I literally don't care. I shouldn't say I don't care, but it's like... I just needed to remove myself from it. So I did. I released it. All right. Mm, look at this magician. The fool's greatest mentor. You know, as you, we are the fool. Um... It does signify like we're about to start on some type of new adventure. It is asking us to take a leap of faith. First of all, be in the current moment. That means you're going to be guided, you know, and then the wheel right behind it. You know, it's like you do have to trust in destiny also. Um, and it's interesting, the magician's looking over at the wheel. It's almost like the magician's energy making the wheel spin, and then the foal is off. So it feels like the master is the one who's spinning the wheel, and the foal, which is up for the adventure, is the one that's going for the ride. I feel like the fool's already learned the lesson of the magician. And the magician's lesson to the fool is that you really do possess everything you need to be successful. You know, on this next journey, the cups, that means you've had emotional clarity. Swords, that means you've had mental clarity. The wands, the willingness, the cups, staying open. Loving, nurturing, even though, right? Because the fool is going to let it be, let it go. Why? It's probably time. All right. Wow. I feel like um I feel like there might be a couple people who met each other like during a carnival or that type of atmosphere. And it may have been a while ago. Um I wouldn't be surprised if um you're reconnected. Again, I feel like it's just a short little message. But I do feel that I feel like that's gonna happen. That's going to happen. You know, remember, these things happen in our lives, but but then again, we have to be willing, like the foal, to take that leap of faith. And the more we hang on to the past, the less, the less of the chance of us taking that leap. Right, we'll let fear or what have you come before it. Pulls like no more, no more, no more. Interesting, five of cups. Emotional loss. So the five of cups, this is when you really are focusing on your emotional house, you know. It's about what I have lost. 
in love who I've lost. Uh, and, you know, it makes sense. Like, we've all been there. But it's also to know when, you know, when it's time for a change, because it is five. So you don't want to get lost in the woe is me. You just want to be honest with yourself. And I say that because what I love about the Five of Cups are the two cups that are behind this change. And I don't feel like I'm, I'm changing for the Two of Cups. Um, I'm just no longer willing, you know, to shut myself down. Does look like some of those heart chakras being activated, and it feels like just it was it, just as it was meant to be. Look at this! Holy cow! Spiritual union. Well, there's those two cups behind the five of cups. There it is. I mean, wow. You know, some of you may have lost a soulmate, and because you could have more than one soulmate, you know, a lot of soulmates teach, we all teach, um, but some can, you know, teach us hard lessons, and I feel like that there's an ultimate soulmate that I potentially spend the rest of my life with. But maybe I had to go through this, learn this. Um, because again, I feel like the magician is saying that the fool has gone through a lot of this. But anyways, holy cow. Make the change, boom, there's, I mean, boom, there's the miracle. Wow. Wow, look at this. Prosperity begins. You know, I often feel like there are two people holding... Two people nurturing this seed. Um, two different hands. And it coming beside the two of cups. And under the wheel. Holy cow. No wonder I did this reading. You know, I've been really spending my time getting caught up on personal readings. Um, but something told me, like... Some of you wanted a reading. Holy cow. Prosperity begins under the wheel. Do I accept it? You know, I feel like the Ace of Pentacles does mean it's coming into your physical world. It's going to manifest. Um, but it does take your energy. It takes both energy, really, to nurture it, right? To love it, to give it sun. Make sure the seed can blossom. And it will. It has that potential. You know, and I feel like some of you could have, like, thought that you were with the soulmate, but I want to just ask you to ask yourself, like, do you feel like you were receiving what your soul needed? Uh, and if you don't, then, you know, you choose how long you want to stay, how long you want to do it. It's up to you. Because I do feel like it's when when, like, you make the decision, when you, I guess, become the fool, 
that's what, when you make the change, that's when this seems to open up. And I know I'm putting it on you, but it really is you. You know, the Five of Cups would say, are you willing to make the change? The Fool would say, are you willing to release and allow yourself to be free? You know, whatever that may mean to you. You know, are you able to take this seed and nurture it? You know, so it does come down to you, but it's saying at the same time, like, you already possess it, you know what I mean? And maybe some of you have been going through some type of an emotional situation. And maybe the answer is just change. You know, whatever that may mean to you. And I feel like it may just be that simple. And, and you know, the solution may be that simple. It doesn't mean the change is that simple. But look what, what it leads to. And I don't feel like the person in the Five of Cups even realizes that these two cups are behind them. Yet they are. We have the Four of um, Pentacles. And then we have the Ace of Wands, Passion Ignited, Heart Chakra being activated. You know, you may just feel it's time to move a new direction. And I hope you follow it, follow it because this really is about following your passion. I could definitely see where some of you um, really have come to your own truth and um, really have grown and evolved. And maybe someone that you're attached to hasn't had that involvement, is not interested in it. You know what I mean? It's just different, different vibration. Um, and what we want in the world turns different. Do I then have a right to you know, move on. Of course you do. You know, this is your life. You have a right to do, you know, whatever it may be. But, you know, I feel like, just look at it this way. I feel like, you know, we create karma. So even in a difficult situation, we can still do it from, you know, an area that doesn't have to be, like, abrupt. Um, but... Honestly, I feel like it's more about a lot of you coming to your own truths, um, whatever that may be. And I feel like very quickly, um, you're seeing the change. You're seeing a change. Um, and I, and I kind of don't even think you expect it. Some of you, you're just feeling like it's time for this change. And again, it feels like it is an emotional change, but like the Ace of Wands is kind of inspiring you to, oh, wow, look at that. Um, maybe let go. And now you have the sun. Hello. It's called the light under spiritual union under the full. You know, this could talk about meeting someone um, out of the blue. And that is usually how love happens. But first, it feels like if we jump into, like if, if we, 
you know, if, if we're dealing with a situation we just know is not going to change or get better or I'm unsatisfied in, it, it's just not balanced. Um, and it's really up to me whether I stay or leave, but I want better. I feel like I've been doing better. Then I feel like you're ready to jump into the fool's energy and let whatever was be, right? Spin that wheel. Start moving towards a destined path. Make, you know, make that change. And then I feel like, and to just allow, what, you know, what's going to show. Because really, everything is quite beautiful. But it starts with a change. You know what else I love about the sun being under uh, the soulmates is it tells you that that there's really no sh no nowhere for the shadows to hide. So to me, it's of the light. It's you know, it's playful. It's it's truthful. Um, it's fun. You know what I mean? It feels like an adventure, maybe. And with the Ace of Wands next to it, there, you know, it would certainly feel passionate. Look at this. Three of Swords came in reverse. Wow. Wow. All of a sudden, I feel healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's like all of a sudden my heart doesn't hurt. Wow. You know, that's what I was trying to say in the beginning. Like, it's interesting how we hang on to things that we just know. Um, really are not going to, I don't know, amount to much. Um, but we hang in there and we give them chances or whatever, whatever it may be. Uh, but I feel like, no, there's a change of energy here. And I feel like whatever heartache I thought I would have, I feel like, boom, it's eliminated. It's gone. You know, it's gone. Hmm. So, this seed, which is this developing in your physical world, and it needing your nurturing, now, you know, if this is the other way around, it'd be like your tears, you know what I mean? But because... The swords are like out of the heart now. They've fallen out of the heart. They no longer affect the heart. Now you can nurture it from love. The light. Like, I don't know. It's almost like you meet someone and it's like, boom, you know, heartache gone. I mean, that was quick. We have... Material and spiritual prosperity. Um, though I have to tell you, when I do readings, this may sound weird to some people, um, but this is how I do readings. If a card comes reversed in the upright, then I leave it that way. Then to me, it was meant to be. Um, but if it's not, re I mean, if it not, if it's not face up. Then I put it in the upright and I just keep both in mind. So that's what I'm going to do. Because material and spiritual prosperity, there's no way that doesn't belong in the upright. Because that's what you're finding. And, you know, I love that the Ace of Wands is... You know, it's passion ignited. But, 
maybe even like in your creative house it doesn't have to just be love but holy cow the type of love it's talking about especially coming under light it's like uh, like there's nothing nothing you need to fear because everything is like out in the open and both hands are nurturing this seed which means that it truly has the opportunity to just blossom and it feels like your whole life is blossoming it almost feels too good to be true but look at this there's a tower on the bottom of the deck and i feel like this is you deciding you know if it's someone else who gave you a tower and it's like kind of you know you've been in that that state of loss this may say like okay but maybe there's so, something yet to be sometimes it the towers help move us in place you know what i mean they make things like uncomfortable um to the point where we have to either look at it you know what i mean um and that's kind of what I feel there. But, but I feel like for some of you, it's like you ultimately ending something with someone else. And I feel like because you want better. You know, I also feel like um, just a little message. I feel like someone who works at a firm, uh, maybe a law firm, and I feel like there's potential promotion like in store, and it may come out of the blue. I feel like there's things that are just going to like come out of the blue, um, but they all feel good. And it feels like this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. You know, like this is not a one-time thing. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, you know, it's interesting because I was just thinking in my mind that Really, what I was asking my guides is, you know, what's the best thing we can know uh, with 2025 right around the corner? Uh, then I decide, you know what, I don't even want to put like anything on it. Just let it be whatever it wants to be. But now I see 25. So I feel like, OK, maybe this is what it's talking about. All right. I feel like that I don't need to clarify, to be honest. But holy crap, Ace of Cups. But why not? So, love. And I feel like for some of you, like, if you feel like your heart is broken, I feel like soon you're going to forget about that wow i swear i don't try to make these a love reading and this really is also talking about your money you know and i feel like if you whatever you focus on um is what you're going to grow in this energy. That's what it's saying. Uh, but but you have everything it takes to grow it. You know, but and you can focus on both love and money at the same time. Look at this Knight of Pentacles. It's like an answer from your guardian angel. It feels like here's the arrival of that miracle. Knight of Pentacles it, um, really does talk about patience. But I feel like for some of you, you may have been in like, a, let's just say a life lesson. And the night doesn't want to interrupt that because maybe that's what gives you ultimate growth. 
So this night tells you I come at the right time and is very patient, slow moving, gives you the time that whatever you need. And I feel like, you know, now that it's coming over the full, it's like to me now it's the right time and the full being connected to spiritual union. Holy cow. By the way, the knight's looking right back at the Ace of Cups. But what he promises is the Ace of Pentacles. Almost like he's involved, he's involved, he's involved in your love and your money. Sometimes he can feel like a miracle. It can be like, boom, just like that. There's a lot of light energy on the board. Um, where I felt for like a moment there was dark energy that I feel now has turned light. Like, wow. We have the Magician. Now the Magician's in reverse. And I'll tell you why I feel like the Magician's in reverse is because I feel like it's saying you have to trust within yourself. That's an important part of it. And also be willing, you know, again, to put the focus um, it takes to really allow this, this seed to, to really flourish. I also feel like it could also speak for some um, because we are looking at soulmate energy. This night's coming over. You know, the, both of the soulmates, you know, they, they may have like each had their own experiences they were going through. And, you know, they arrive at the, the wheel, you know, at their own time. And it's almost like the knight holds the one back until the other one is ready. We have the Queen of Wands, Queen of Action. We have the sun again over the Ace of Wands. Uh, double Leo on the board, by the way. I don't know if I've given any signs at all. We have the interesting, the hangman over sun. However, also over the five of cups. So that does feel like that's where the pause within like what will be is. Because in the hangman's energy, it's seeking spiritual wisdom. Right, so he's seeking energy of the light, but really to use on this earthly plane. So it would make sense. And I love that the sun is like right beside him also. The ace of wands is right there. So I feel like whatever this hangman is seeking, if the hangman is honest with oneself, then I feel like then it turns itself around almost into the awakened state. So again, it kind of puts the ball back in your court. You know what I mean? We have the Eight of Pentacles. You know, the Eight of Pentacles can answer, well, first of all, if it's answering, like, if you're thinking of doing something that maybe you don't know that, you, you know, like, you may say to yourself, well, I don't know if I know enough. Um, it, But there's something you want to bring to the world. This is the perfect energy to do that. So planting your own seeds and then, you know, the Eight of Pentacles would say, but then also be willing to focus on it. Again, you can focus on your money. You can focus on your love. Um, it doesn't have to be one or the other. Um, but the Eight of Pentacles is 
you know, it could be a new idea. It could be a new opportunity. Um, but it can lead to true success. You know, and I kind of feel like even it feels in a way kind of meant to be. Hmm. Some of you, it's like writing. Like writing may be a good answer for you to like release, but maybe you like actually writing a book about it. You know, you're not allowing the past or even the pain of the past to have any effect of, you know, on this creative part of you any longer. And I feel like that's freeing, like, you know, freeing of the mind, freeing of the heart is freeing. We have the chariot in reverse. Then we have the five of swords. So interesting. It's like the chariot. It's almost like is the vehicle to bring, you know, maybe prosperity about. Um, but it's interesting because I feel like there's dead weight connected to this chariot. And I feel like I have to go the whole way back here. Um, but it tells you what type of energy it is. You know, it's it's just toxic to your growth in some way. And whether it be people, you know what I mean? Other people. You know, someone who didn't love us in the way that we hoped. It's showing, like, the truth of the matter is it didn't help you, you know. Um, you know, what do you do about other people's toxicity? You don't accept it. You know what I mean? And if, sometimes you got to remove yourself. But I feel like it's what weighed down this chariot. It's almost like it's what weighed down your success, your prosperity. But I feel like, again, the sun's illuminating that. And that may be, again, where the tower comes in. Like, this is what I get to give the tower to so the chariot can turn around. And then the chariot really is unlimited potential. Coming over a card that talks about material and spiritual prosperity. So I want that in the unlimited potential category. But the dead weight's got to go. And I feel like that's that. All right. I'm going to bring in the romance angels. Though I have to tell you, everything inside of me is like, you do not need more clarification. Um, but I feel like some of you love the romance angels, so that's why I'm going to bring it in. But honestly, I feel like, holy cow, what's showing? You know, and it, and it all started with a change. That's what started everything. That change. It's where it all began. And I feel like within that change, I feel like that energy doesn't feel like it was good for you anyway. True love. Look at that. This is a romance of a lifetime. Holy cow. I think I'm going to leave it there. I almost feel like if it gets any better, you won't believe it. You know, this is definitely a story of like cutting off the dead weight. And allowing your chariot to, like, soar. You know, I feel like some of you have been in this energy of seeking wisdom. And I feel like you're receiving it now. And now all you have to do is trust it. 
and then move accordingly. You know, but I feel like when a change happens, whatever it may be, it does feel like of an emotional nature. Um, I feel like, who do I become? I become the fool. I become free. I'm free. I'm free to be me. Right? And I'm going to be me. That's the thing. Like, not only am I free to be me, but I'm going to be me from this point on. I'm not going to wear any mask, you know, I, like I'm going to be me. And I feel like that's something you learned also. And I guess the best thing I can say here is allow the universe to surprise you with what feels like miracles. But it all began with you. Make it a change. Wow. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, what a reading. What an abundant reading. So, again, you know, in my head, I was going to, like, I was thinking, let's do a reading about what 2025 is going to look like. I still feel that here. So, you know, I feel like current, but... I kind of feel like, this, you know, because the full kind of feels like 2025, you know, the opportunity, the new, a new period's opening up. Um, we're moving into a nine um, universal year. So, you know, some of your ending cycles, you know, I feel like there's, there's a multiple, to, there's a multiple of things happening. Um, and I feel like some are beyond my, like, my knowing. Um, but anyway, I feel it. So, holy cow, holy cow. I love you guys. Um, you know, my prayer is that this finds each and every one of you in some way, you know, like it may be in a different way. So be open to that, right? Because again, the fool's just like, I'm open to the adventure. And then, wow. All right. I love you guys. I thank you. I'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.